Hello everyone and welcome to another one of our expedition trip reports. This video is about our expedition to South Africa from back in January 2022. After not visiting the country for several years, we yearned to get back to where our African adventure began. We sat down with our good friends Emily Ann Jackson and Gary Kyle Nicola, two splendid South African herpetologists, and designed a unique herping trip across the eastern parts of the country. The expedition took us through incredible forests, savannas and even on top of some of the highest mountain peaks in the region. All while surveying some very hard to reach areas as well as collecting DNA samples for local studies. As a result we found a whopping 127 species of herbs during the trip. And in this video you'll get to know a bunch of them. One of the coolest reptiles that you can get in South Africa and one that we saw plenty of times is the African flat rock lizard. These agile lizards are specially adapted to life among the rocks with their flattened bodies allowing them to squeeze into tight crevices and escape predators in extreme temperatures. Fast and nimble, they rely on speed and camouflage to evade danger. Their sharp claws give them a strong grip on even the smoothest rock faces making them expert climbers. Males can be quite territorial, especially during the breeding season, displaying dominance through head bobs and push-ups to ward off rivals. Other than that, the lizards are quite communal, with multiple females living in close proximity of a male. Incredibly cool lizards and always nice to see them out in the wild. Since we're on a wildlife expedition in Africa, we absolutely had to visit some of the safari parks. Among them, the Kruger National Park. A visit to this park satiated the need to see wild lions, hyenas, hippos, buffalo, giraffe and plenty of cool bird species. We even had quite a close encounter with a massive African elephant bull. Since Gary and Emily are lizard specialists, our trip was quite lizard heavy, covering a huge number of species. But along the way we got to see a whole bunch of cool snakes as well. 
one of which was the legendary Black Mamba, one of the most feared snakes in the world. We also got the chance to see three different species of bitis. We found the puff adder, bitis arietans, in the lower elevations around savanna habitats. These snakes are quite common and therefore also responsible for most venomous snake bites in Africa. On slightly higher elevations we encountered the horned adder, one of the most widespread vipers in Southern Africa with a huge variety of colors and patterns, likely to harbor a number of cryptic species that have not yet been described. Even higher in the mountains we encountered the elusive berg adder, Smaller than its relatives, it thrives in rocky terrain, blending perfectly with its surroundings. Though its venom is potent, its secretive nature makes it less of a threat to humans. We also made a quick visit to a temporary pond where Gary and Emily saw giant African bullfrog males in combat just a few days before. These frogs come out of hiding only a short time per year to fight it out like gladiators in an arena pond, fighting for the right to mate. Unfortunately, the fights were already over and we only got to see some tadpoles, a few smaller juveniles and a couple of other species that were attracted by the water.
Another one of our objectives was to find as many species as possible of the genus Smaug. Named after the legendary dragon of Lord of the Rings, this lizard is covered in tough, spiny scales that act as a natural armor, protecting it from predators. When threatened, it has a unique defensive strategy, wedging itself into cracks and inflating its body, making it nearly impossible to get out. Like all members of the girdled lizard family, they're ambush predators, patiently waiting before striking at insects, spiders and even small vertebrates. Living in social groups, these lizards share rock crevices for shelter, offering protection in numbers, a rare trait among reptiles. But one of the most fascinating members of this armored clan, a sister taxon of the smog genus, is the armadillo girdled lizard, Ouroboros cataphractus. Unlike other girdled lizards, this species has a unique trick. When danger strikes, it curls itself into a tight ball, biting its own tail to shield its soft belly just like an armadillo would. Unfortunately, we were out of range for this species, but we'll make sure to visit a population of these incredible lizards on our next visit. Needless to say, South Africa was amazing yet again, and we can't wait to go back next year. Even though this older video was slightly less in image quality than our more recent work, we still hope you enjoyed our trip report and maybe even got inspired to join us on our next South African adventure. If it did, take a look on our website for the expeditions we have in store for you this year. As per usual, I'd like to thank all of you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.